Hi, my name is Charlie Norton and I'm a senior product owner within Matillion. In this session, you will learn how you can create a custom connector to any data source within minutes using Matillion Data Loader, freeing up time and resources to unlock the full potential of your data. Today, I'm going to talk about the need for data connectivity and show you a demonstration of universal connectivity with Matillion Data Loader custom connectors. I'll start by sharing some information around the challenges enterprises have today. With hundreds of data sources and an exploding number of SaaS applications, data integration vendors simply can't keep up with the pre-built out-of-box connectors. And in the wonderful world of RESTful APIs, with all the unique quirks, coding your own connector uses up too much time and resources. I'll then give you an overview of Matillion Data Loader and show you how to create your own connector to any RESTful API quickly and easily without time, effort, and the cost of building it yourself. Let's talk about the challenge enterprises have. Data is more distributed than ever before. IDG and Matillion surveyed a number of enterprises and found the average large organization taps into about 400 different data sources. And the top 20% of these enterprises use more than 1,000 data sources for their BI and analytic programs. This is something I can relate with on a slightly smaller scale, but as I work in product, I use data every day from a number of sources. These include transactional databases, Google Analytics, Web Analytics, Marketo, and many more. Each data source gives me different data, of course, but the key to me getting my job done well is integrating this data together and analyzing it to get key insights about our products and how customers use them. I, along with many others, depend on good, accurate and timely data to make sure we develop the best product for our customers. In addition, the use of SaaS applications is exploding. SaaS apps are being adopted in record numbers. According to recent SaaS stats and trends, companies with more than 1,000 employees are now using an average of 177 SaaS applications and is projected that by the year 2025, 85% of the software being used will be SaaS. The challenge is that enterprises want to ingest all their data from the SaaS applications and integrate it with the data they already have in the data warehouses and lakes. Once they load the SaaS data, they then want to run analytics on everything to get deeper insights into their business and their customers. The benefits of SaaS applications are pretty clear. They offer organizations variety of choice and customization to find an app that best suits their specific needs. But this variety of choice comes at a pretty high price for the data teams, and particularly those who work on data integration. In the MarTech space alone, there are more than 9,932 SaaS applications in the market today. But the average data integration vendor has only 125 pre-built connectors. I think that's a pretty poor ratio. Never mind taking into account all the other categories within SaaS applications. So what does it take to build a new connector? It takes a lot of time, effort and resources. Some recent articles documented what it takes to build a new connector. They found that on average, it takes four to six weeks to research, design, develop, and test a new connector. Then once it's built, you still have to spend time maintaining. On average, one week every quarter. Why? Because data structures and tables inside these SaaS apps change. And for every change they make, you have to update your connector code. So that's quite a lot of time and effort, especially if you want to create connectors to each of those 9,932 MarTech apps out there. I know that's not something I would want to do. So we've talked a lot about the problems, but what's the solution? Is universal connectivity with Matillion Data Loader. Universal connectivity gives you the capability to quickly and easily create a connector to any RESTful API without writing any code. It saves time, effort and money, and it unlocks new data sources and empowers you to take advantage of the SaaS application potential. With Matillion Data Loader, you can create a new connector and load data so you can leverage all of your data, 
unleash its value and dramatically accelerate your analytics. So we've discussed the clear need for the service and the benefits that come with it. Now let's take a look at how it works. Before you dive in, take a moment and think about your own data outcome and how that relates with the structure. And please familiarize yourself with the API docs, as this will vary on every API. And as there's no set standards, although you may have mastered one, you cannot prepare for the quirks that will come with another. Once you have all your requirements and you're comfortable with the documentation, you're ready to begin. You will need a request and dependent on the API docs, you may need to provide an authentication method, parameters or a paging strategy. While configuring your connector, please use the response tab. This will allow you to ensure the changes you make along the way are valid, and how you expect them. And if something don't look quite right, you'll be able to troubleshoot while configuring your connector. I briefly just mentioned authentication. But with data moving across boundaries, security is a key concern. One of the most straightforward ways to secure these APIs is to implement authentication mechanisms that control their exposure. While it is possible to access open APIs without any authentication, it is recommended best practice to restrict access to only appropriate users for each API endpoint. There are many ways to authenticate a user's identity to allow them to access an API endpoint securely, and we currently support the following. Basic authentication. This is your standard username and password method. Pretty basic. A bearer token, which relies on the standardized set of data to be provided as a token with an API request. So there's three parts to the data. One, a header, two, a payload, and three, a signature. It should be noted that anyone could easily read the token as plain text. So please make sure not to include sensitive data in the payload. With API key authentication, a machine generated string of characters is used as an API key. This is provided to the user so they can access the API. This method allows the user to store the API key in a configuration file without exposing their username and password. Then finally, OAuth. This requires the user to log into their account on the relevant API site. The API site will then send the user back to the external site with the token that is tied to the authorization. Now the user is able to provide the token in the API request to verify who the user is, as well as what data the API can access. We have a tab within our custom connector available on the left. This will allow users to go in, configure their OAuths and manage them. Pagination is a numbering of pages returned from an API query. Paging can be used when API queries are too large, as dense databases could potentially return millions, if not billions of results. So paging helps limit the number of results to keep performance in check while retaining the order of data from page to page. There are a variety of paging strategies that an API can employ. We currently offer five options. Although we are aware of the difficulties users have determining the best page and type due to no set standards for RESTful APIs. We are currently working through a custom page and solution to take the pain away from the user. This will let the user define their own custom page and strategy for any API. So please watch this space. So once you've configured your custom connector, you can then use it to build a data pipeline directly from your source to your desired destination. With Matillion Data Loader, this is an easy process through our intuitive SaaS-based user interface. Three simple steps. First, select and configure endpoints. Then, select your destination. And finally, set the frequency of your batch data loading job. The Behaviour tab is located within Matillion Data Loader. This is where you can select what data you want from the configured endpoint to pull through to your pipeline. This can allow one endpoint to be used in a variety of ways. 
So for example, the MailChimp campaign's endpoint pulls quite a lot of data and depending on the use case, not all may be valid. The Behaviour tab allows you to make sure that the data you pull through your pipeline is valid to your need and will allow you to focus easily on the data in hand. So if I wanted to focus purely on the emails sent within my campaigns, I can refine that here. Dynamic parameters are a new MDL feature that allow for incremental batch pipelines to be created based on Custom Connector. These enable MDL users to easily define how to determine the high watermark for incremental loading of data from an API. Here you can see a high level architecture diagram. On the left are your data sources like MailChimp, Zendesk, Spotify. And you can create a custom connector to one of these applications and use that connector to extract data and load it into your cloud data platform. To demonstrate universal connectivity with Matillion Data Loader Custom Connectors, I'm going to show you how to build a custom connector. And then I'll show you how to build a data pipeline to extract and load that data into Snowflake on AWS. The API I'll be using for my demo today is MailChimp. For those who may not know, MailChimp is an email marketing platform which allows you to automate and send marketing emails. So my use case for this API is, as an email marketer, I want to see how many emails have been sent in total by my campaigns. I've already spent time reading over the API documentation and feel confident with it. And I've familiarised myself with the data and understand how I want it to look once you've gone through my pipeline. As you can see um, on the Hub homepage, uh, a tile has been added to make Custom Connector more accessible. Once in the Connector app, you'll see a list of all the connectors you've already made with an option to edit, delete or use the connector. I want to add a new connector for the demo, which I will rename MailChimp. Add an emoji here because who doesn't love emojis? and then rename the endpoint emails. With that, you can see some error icons coming up. This is just showing you that the connector is in an invalid state. You will be unable to save at this point. Once you have the request, you can put it in and hit send. The response is instantly showing you that there's an error, the API key is invalid showing you that you need an authentication type. The MailChimp documentation say you can use either OAuth or API key. If you were going to use OAuth, um, you'd be redirected to the tab on the left. So for the purpose of this, I will be sticking with API key. API key there. Put the value in that box and change the parameter type to query. We hit send to make sure the response is coming back okay. So as you can see the campaigns, I can see email sent and that data is coming back how I would expect it to. There's no parameters needed for this, but if I did, I would just add them in there. And the page in type that I want to use is offset, the limit. I'll put as 10 as that's the number of records I want returned in each page. And the record count total items. Once I'm happy and there's no errors left on the screen, I'm now able to save. And now use the connector. When you select Use Connector, you're presented with two options of how you want to continue. The first one will be Export. This will allow you to export the JSON and you can use it on Matillion's Community or Matillion's ETL tool. The second being Add a Pipeline. This will continue your journey on the SaaS platform and redirect you to Matillion Data Loader. Once on Matillion Data Loader, you'll then get to choose your endpoints. 
So the emails endpoint I configured in Custom Connector is there. So I'm going to drag that over to extract and load and hit continue. We then have to configure our endpoints. So the authentication type we use is API key. And the password I have saved. The behavior tab will allow you to deselect or select the fields that you want to include in your pipeline. So the focus for me today is the emails sent within my campaigns. So looking at the links, I don't need anything there. And I will open the campaigns where you can see there's quite a lot of data within this API. And I don't want to pull this all through as a lot of it won't add value to my requirements. So I'm just going to go through and deselect all the bits that I don't need. If anyone wanted to come in and use this endpoint after me, then they could they could include anything they wanted. Um, it's not removing it from the endpoint. I'm just re removing it from the pipeline that I'm going to build. So as you can see, I've left the email sent and the campaign selected, as these are the two pieces of information that I need today. There's no parameters to configure, as I didn't add any in the connector config and then the keys here are what makes the what what is the unique identifier so I'm going to look for the campaign ID and continue you choose your destination so we're going to continue with snowflake and configure the destination here so select your warehouse your target database the schema and your stage and location. And add a table prefix to allow you to find the data. See, so I will use Charlie Mailchimp. The pipeline name I'm going to use is Mailchimp emails and I'll sync it every one day. Once you've hit your create a pipeline, you're then brought to the pipeline screen, which will show you all your pipelines that you have previously built, provide you with the source, destination, status, and the last time it was synced. So scrolling through, I can see um, the MailChimp emails that I've set up and is currently setting up. Once the status has changed from sync into active, your pipelines are now ready. So go in and view your pipelines. And as we can see, 22,537 rows of data have been moved. You then log into your Snowflake instance to check the data. And here we have a sample set of the data flattened for us. So that was a quick demonstration of Matillion Data Loader's custom connector. You have available a number of resources to help you. You can learn more about Matillion Data Loader on our website and see it in action in one of our weekly online demos. Or we can organise a personal demo to dive further into detail. If you would like to take advantage of our universal connectivity and set up your own custom connectors, please reach out to us to sign up to early access for this capability. Thank you so much for your time today and I hope you enjoy Data Unlocked.